about what are some of the relationships we have that we might be able to build on. Should we play football more often? We've played football a lot between the two conferences, right. but should we do it more regularly, more deliberately? How about men's basketball, women's basketball, Olympic sports? And, and so that sets the table for what was announced today, and that we are going to be more strategic and deliberate in our scheduling. You know, we had, we had announced, the Big Ten had announced recently that we were going to start playing nine Big Ten games in 2017. We agreed as athletic directors we'd be willing to step back to eight if then a, a regular matchup with uh, the Big Ten Pac-12 would sort of take take its place. And so that's that's the intention to play every year Big Ten Pac-12 and to have that. For, it, it's great for the fans. It's great for the student athletes. It'll be great for the for the both conferences. How do you know who you play? I think that yet to be determined. I mean, it'll be it'll be predetermined long in advance, but not yet set. Will they try to match teams power-wise, like kind of do with the Big Ten ACC basketball? Again, I think the details, we've had all those discussions, how we might go about it, but I think the thought was uh, let's, we've been having these discussions for several months now, let's put it on the table, we're committed to doing it in some way, shape, or form, not yet exactly sure how it'll match up. Well, this, that is one possibility. Though. Will this make you rethink, or possibly make you rethink the Iowa State series? You know, one of the things that, that I said to the Big Ten when we talked about going to nine Big Ten games was my goal is to continue to play Iowa State. And so have the rotation work out in such a way that uh, I'd always have seven home games and one of them would be against Iowa State. I've said the same thing to the conference, and so far it looks like, you know, there is a way to work this out that we could continue that series, and that's my goal. Is Kirk up to date on all this? What yes. Do you think of it? He's never really uh, been crazy about these West Coast road trips. You know, the time zone makes it a challenge. But other than that, uh, you know, we have played uh, Pac-12 opponents in the past. And uh, so I think what he's, what he's you know, you'll have to ask him eventually. Not, not this week. Let's worry about uh, playing Oklahoma. But, you know, eventually he, he's supportive of the fact that it's good for the fans, it's good for uh, the student athletes, figure out the details. But overall he's supportive. He, he's known about that's all right. He's known about this concept over the past year or so as we've been talking about. It. But something you're going to have to give, though, right? I mean, to play a Pac-10 and a Big 12 school in the same year. I mean, not everybody does that. Big 12. Big well, of Iowa State. Oh, you mean our specific? Yeah, Iowa your State. specific okay. deal. Yeah. So no more or less than when we made the commitment to go to nine Big 10 games. So. We figured out a way to navigate it by going when we decided to go to uh, nine Big Ten games in 2017, and so the same plan will be in place when we go back to eight Big Ten, but add now a, a Pac-12. Northern Iowa, they does that affect them at all? Or? Uh, it, the way I've been approaching this is every year Iowa, Iowa State, occasionally as we have in the past, continuing to play you and I. That's still the goal, and it looks like we'll still be able to accomplish it. I'm going to wait to make sure when this all gets said and done, but right now it looked like we could accomplish it when we went to nine Big Ten games. Same concept applies as we look at going back to eight Big Ten games but adding a Pac-12 opponent every year. Does, this doesn't affect you guys. I think you have Pitt left, maybe one game there, 2014. You're going to test. I, I think I think that's right, but um, Won't affect that. all, that, all that's sense. been thought through, and that's one of the reasons when we looked at everybody's future schedules we had to go out to 2017 because we had to take into consideration some of the contracts we had in place. And I think in the announcement, I read it this morning, it does talk about there may be situations we still have to work through, but right. 2017 is the year we plan to, to begin. Do you like this better than uh, playing just you know, Purdue or whomever in the Big Ten? Rather than, you, know, you could get you could what I like. What, what I liked is when we, when we talked about going from eight to nine Big Ten games, I liked that. I thought it was good. Again, for our student athletes, for our fans, for the game of college football. Mm -hmm. You know, do, do I like putting a, a Big 12 team in place of that? I, I think it's fun. I think it's exciting. Uh, I don't like it less or more than playing another Big 10 team. I think our fans will enjoy it. It's, you know, it's out of conference, and yet it's a, a strong BCS matchup. What will it say, going back to kind of Randy's question, what will it say about your schedule? I mean, not a lot of schools have two BCS teams in their non-conference schedule. We've, you know, we've traditionally taken that approach. I mean, because we're committed and we've played Iowa State uh, every year, and, and in most years we're also playing another BCS school, I don't know that it really changes the way we schedule, other than it changes who the opponent might be. Right. Instead of Pittsburgh, it might be a, a, a Pac-12 team now. But we've, we had, you know, over the years historically, we've generally played two BCS teams. Do you think 